many great people out there today. They can do so much, but they're stuck. They close down and they shut down and they can't move forward. Fear opens the door that paralyzes people's lives. And one thing is in life that we can't lose time and opportunities that God has given us. Fear is, is a plague, it's, it's a tormenting thing, it's a, it's a disaster thing that when it comes upon you, it just, it grips you. It's like a straitjacket. You know, it just comes up on you. The days seem like weeks, the weeks seem like months. You can't see beyond yourself. Stuck in a place, it's like putting putting a person in, in a box, and tormenting the mind. And a person as talented, as gifted, as beautiful, things this person could do in so many ways, they don't see themselves out of that situation. It's, it's like a spiritual cancer. It eats away your life. Fear, I'm giving you an eviction notice. It's time for you to leave. God has not given us a spirit of fear. So how do you do it? How do you give an eviction order? How do you become free? How do you live free? The Bible speaks about it, right? We got to go back to the book that knows it all. Proverbs 18, 21 say, life and death lays in your tongue. In order to defeat fear, you need spiritual warfare prayer. So the spiritual warfare prayers are powerful. Power of the Holy Spirit behind it. They claim victory over you. They claim purpose. They claim your destiny. They claim that, you know, this situation should pass. This is temporary. We got to be bold. We got to be bold against the enemy. We have to be bold against the enemy of our soul. We have to be courageous. David came to deliver lunch, and Goliath was right across, and Goliath was saying some nasty thing. He's the bully in the schoolyard. He's the fear factor. He had Israel paralyzed with fear. No one wanted to step into the battleground. David here, he stepped into the battlefield, and you know the story. A few seconds later, there were no more Goliath. There was no more fear. David knew how to deal with fear. He knew how to take care of fear. You need to step in front of your Goliath, get your slingshot ready, get those spiritual warfare prayers ready, and say, devil, today, you're not gonna taunt me, me and my family no more. As an ex-devil worshiper, right, 25 years in the devil's camp, God had a plan for my life. As far as my father took me was the car wash, and I came from a family of rejection. Coming today in Christ, who the loving father who, who have took me out of the pits of hell and put me in a safe place, that he redeemed me. Today I have a life that counts, and, and the life that I'm moving forward in my life. So if he's carrying you through, he brought you this far, he ain't gonna leave you there, it's time to fight bring down fear out of your family, your loved ones, your friends, your church, whoever it is, man, stand in the gap and be courageous. And you have to say no, you have to draw the line and say, I make a choice. I will not submit to fear. I will submit to God, Jesus Christ. And once you do that, you renounce fear. You renounce whatever is tormenting, whatever door you open, whatever portal you open, I renounce it. I, I Today, I divorce it. I give it an eviction notice and I receive God's best in my life and fill with the Holy Spirit, move forward, and you could be, wow, more than a conqueror.